didn't know about it. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry wash hands of rules row. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have nothing to do with the list of dos and don'ts handed over to their Windsor's neighbours during a meeting, Buckingham Palace said in a rare statement. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry never issued a list of rules to the people living near Frogmore Cottage, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's home in Windsor, a Buckingham Palace spokesperson said. Issuing a rare statement, the spokesperson denied every claim saying, the Duke and Duchess didn't request this, didn't know about it, and had nothing to do with the content or guidance offered. The list, published by The Sun last Friday, was said to be aiming at protecting the privacy of Meghan. Harry and their son, Archie Harrison Mountbatten-Windsor. The newspaper claimed locals were told how to behave with the royals, and even discouraged from saying good morning or some other pleasantry. The full list published included six points, reading, Don't approach or instigate conversation if you see the royal couple. Do say good morning or some other pleasantry if they speak to you. Don't pet or stroke their dogs, even if they come over to you. Don't offer to walk their dogs. Don't ask to see baby Archie or offer to babysit. Don't post anything through the letterbox of Frogmore Cottage. Among the people allegedly targeted by these rules, there were also members of the staff within the Sussex household, officials and Crown Estate employees. The meeting during which the Sun claimed the rules were unveiled is understood to have been one of the regular gatherings taking place in the estate. This dismissed list of rules was published after Meghan and Harry had attracted the anger of several royal commentators and members of the public with their privacy demands. First, the royal couple revealed only a few details of the christening of Archie Harris in Mount Baden Windsor, their son. Meghan and Harry only revealed the event was taking place on the grounds of Windsor Castle and that some 25 people were attending it. But they didn't let photographers and members of the press stay outside the venue to take pictures of the guests nor reveal who Archie's godparents are. Meghan also caused a stir as she headed to Wimbledon to watch her close friend Serena Williams playing during the All England Championships. The Duchess of Sussex arrived at the venue with two friends, Genevieve Hillis and Lindsay Roth, and members of her security. During the match, one man sitting in front of the Duchess was told to give her some privacy as he waved his phone. But on closer inspection of the snaps taken by photographers on Court 1, the man was taking a selfie with the court behind him and wasn't pointing his camera at Meghan. Those criticizing the royals argued the privacy demands issued by Meghan and Harry can't be met following the revelation the pair spent £2.4 million of the taxpayers' money to renovate their cottage. Public relations expert Anthony Burr warned the couple to act quickly to help heal the rift their demands have created with the public. He told Express.co.uk, it's not as bad as having to press the reset button but they need to work hard on repairing the damage. Fiercely, Meghan needs to stop acting like a celebrity who starred on TV and begin the process of learning to be a duchess. But she can't do it alone, she needs help mostly from her husband who knows how this works better than anyone. It just seems that at the moment his priority is to make sure that his new wife is as happy as she can be in her new surroundings and that with a new baby, she is not stressed out. This is understandable. Yet, he also needs her to appreciate that royal family members are the most public figures in the country, if not the world. If you want the splendors of the royal life, you have to make sacrifices and privacy is top of that list of sacrifices.